Hi everyone, uh, today I wanted to talk about a distinguishment um, I'm saying it funny because I didn't say it in the last take um, of intention versus commitment and this is a distinction, this is a very important distinction that my own coach mentioned in, in one of his powerful immersion events that he runs and the reason why it is so important is that intention is saying for example saying that you would like to do something or that you are going to do something but then there, there, but there's no there's no effort or there's no um investment in actually doing it it's just kind of like oh i'd like to go on holiday next year or i have an intention of making it on saturday to to your birthday party um there is no real commitment, there's no real um, investment or um, definitive nature in that. It's just a, it's just a kind of a wishy-washy, ah, oh, it's just I intend on doing it. Uh, it might happen, may not. Um, it's very wishy-washy and if you're, if you're dealing with other people, and I'm sure you've all been in this situation, if you're dealing with other people and you're trying to uh, organise an event and you have a lot of people going, oh yeah, I'm kind of interested, um, it's not a very good place to come from. It's 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 not very um it's not a very useful um place to come from if you're trying to organise events and it's not a very useful place um or being to come from when you're living your life. Because the the reason why is because if you have an intention of doing something with no investment, with no uh, real commitment to doing it, then it's highly likely that it won't happen. And it's highly likely that it certainly won't happen anytime soon. And the difference between intention and commitment is, is really that investment. I'm going to make this happen. I'm committed to turn up to the party on Saturday. I'm committed to... Um, create a successful and prosperous coaching business. I am committed to being the best person I can be. I'm committed to get that qualification or, or, or do that degree. There, There is investment in that. There is investment. You're going to make that happen. I'm going to lose weight. I'm committed to losing weight. I am committed to um leaving my job by the end of the year or getting a promotion the difference between that and intention is 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 that investment you're going to make that happen you're going to do everything that you possibly can to make that happen so for a personal example relationships and getting into relationships in the past was really difficult for me you know it's really i i i was needy i had something on it and and I used to have the intention of of kind of working out that neediness, getting rid of that, and trying and getting into a relationship. But last year and the year before, I had a real commitment to sort that issue out for me. I did everything that I possibly could, and I have got rid of that. Got rid of that issue. I talked to different coaches. I watched a lot of different uh, resources. Um, I allowed myself space to 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 uh, take on that learning. And I did it. It took me a lot of time and a lot of effort, but I did it. I had an investment. I was invested in the outcome. I was gonna make that happen, no matter what. I was gonna, I was gonna fix that issue and get rid of it. And it's exactly the same with everything else. Oh, I want that job. I'm committed to going to the party. Well, okay, if you're committed to going to the party, you book the train ticket, you fill up your car with petrol, you. You do all these things to ensure that you're actually committed and that you're actually going to go. You, but I mean, if you're going to a concert, you buy the ticket. You don't have an intention of going to, to a concert and not buy the ticket. Well, you may do, but then you probably won't go to the go to the concert. But if you if you're committed to going to the concert, you go on Ticketmaster or whatever, whatever Viagogo, whatever you use and you buy the ticket. Then you go on to Ticketmaster, not on Ticketmaster, you go on to the rail um website and and you buy the ticket that is commitment you are committed to being there 
you arrange your calendar to ensure that nothing else coincides with that event because you are committed to being there. A really good example, I think this was either Steve Hardison or Steve Chandler example, is if you're going on holiday or if you have a meeting in another country, quite often or not, you'll be committed automatically to going there. You'll buy the flight ticket, you'll book the taxi, you'll make sure that you pack the night before, or like me, you pack 15 minutes before you leave. And you you get there on time, or, or you get there two hours before, three hours before, time for check-in, security, etc. You are committed to getting onto that flight. There's no reason why you can't be committed to anything else in your life. There are certain things that you can do, and there are certain things that you, actions that you can take. For example, as I said, you can buy the ticket or you can uh, buy a book. If you if you want to learn something, if you're committed to changing your life, if you're committed to having a better life, then a commitment is you hire a coach or you buy a book. You read that book. You make sure you read 1% a day of that book. Even one page a day builds up to, to the whole book eventually. It's having that commitment, putting that process in play to read the book, to do the training or to do whatever you want to do. You know, and whereas if you just had an intention to change your life, it'd be like, oh, you know, I might do it tomorrow, I might do it next week. There's no, there's no, there's no willingness, there's no commitment, there's no investment in actually making that happen. And I, and this is, I'm speaking from a lot of experience, I've had a lot of intentions and there's still certain things that I intend to do, but they're not really commitments. I, you know, it just won't, it just, I just totally lost my train of thought then, which is brilliant on a video, but I'm going to go with it. Um, but if you, there's, there's so many different things. And if you have all those intentions, if you have, for example, coming back to, to what I remembered, if you're having an intention of, uh, of, of changing your life, it's just, yeah, you just, you just, it highly likely won't happen and you just won't take any action on it. Um, but there's so many, there's so many different things that you can do. To, 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 to commit. And another amazing thing that I've just that just came to me was this, this is something that Steve Chandler said. You know, commitment is an everyday decision. It's not just a once and done thing. It's not like, oh, I'm committed to changing my life and suddenly like for the rest of your life you're gonna be committed to that thing every single day automatically just because of one day you decided to be committed or you committed on one day. No, it's an everyday thing. I'm committed to being a better person every single day. For example, I do some kind of self development usually every single day of although I take Sundays off as you know, uh, need a race I need a break sometimes. Um but commitment is is is, is an everyday thing. It's something, this is something actually that I didn't see for myself and, and, and it's something that I needed to be told as well because I, I thought that commitment was that once and done thing, but no, it's not. It's, a, it's an everyday decision that you make, that I make to be committed to what I want to do, to helping people, to coaching people, to being better uh, at, at everything in my life or nearly everything in my life because otherwise it take quite a long time. Um, but. I am committed to doing that every single day and you can be committed to changing your life, um, being a better person, husband, wife, partner, whatever. You can be committed to that every single day. And if you are committed rather than if you have an intention, then you will see massive change in your life. It might not be instant, although quite often it probably will be, but eventually it will all add up. If you take one step every single day, then eventually you've walked a mile, you've walked 10 miles, you know, you, you've walked a really long distance. If you consistently are committed to taking that one step at each point. However, if you're not, and it's totally fine, if you're not committed to something, then, then that's totally fine. But be aware that if you just have that intention, you likely won't get to where you would like to get, or you won't go to, to the concert, or or the really funny example, not really funny, but like the, the, the silly example that I was going to use on this video was, if I use all the toilet roll up in the toilet, and I have an intention of replacing the toilet roll, then it's highly likely I'll go back to the toilet, and there won't be any toilet roll. But if I'm committed to, to replacing the toilet roll, I'll immediately go and get another toilet roll or buy more and go and put it in the bathroom. Commitment is actually taking that action.
taking the action and getting the thing done. That is that is the key difference between commitment um, and intention. It's being committed to actually making that thing happen and doing it regardless and without any excuses. And I no judgment from me whatsoever because I have made a lot of excuses in my life as to why I have are doing things and uh, and and why I haven't done that or why I haven't done this. You know, it's totally fine and normal um, to have that and to, to to be like that. But there are, but you can be more committed and you can get that change that you would like and you can make the improvements to your life that you would like to do but anyway i hope that you find this useful and if you did not or if you did uh comment under here uh, about what you got from it and um yeah i would very uh very look forward to any possible comments that you have